Hi, welcome to Mix and Jam, a channel about game development experimentation. Today's project is inspired by Star Fox. Star Fox has very interesting on-rail levels that guide a player through a specific path. I thought it'd be interesting to try and recreate a similar rail movement using Unity. So here are the steps I needed to follow for this recreation. Create a similar movement for the player on the X and Y axis taking into consideration the ship's rotation. Implement the rail system that guides the gameplay through a path. And add some particles and effects to the prototype. I started off by creating an empty game object that would serve as a parent for both the camera and the player. In that way, the object will be responsible for the rail movement later on. I added movement to the player by changing its local position. And to avoid the player getting off screen, I clamped its position based on the screen limits. To add a better feel to the player movement, I made it replicate the rotation of a new center object that would move with the axis input. And to improve even more on the movement feel, I made the player model rotate on the z-axis whenever there was horizontal movement. Next thing I did was to add some camera movement. In order to make the camera follow the player smoothly, I used Vector3.SmoothAmp. Then I also clamped the camera position to a limit I can determine with a Vector2 variable. After that, I found this model of an R-Wing made by this user on TurboSquid and replaced the old cube with it. To start testing with the rail movement itself, I added a simple script that made the parent game object move forward with a certain speed. That speed is the variable we can modify in order to make the player either boost or break. The velocity change is very subtle, so I made the camera zoom in on the break and zoom out on the boost. And, of course, I couldn't do this project without trying to implement the classic barrel roll. So I simply used a function from DoTween called DoLocalRotate on the spaceship model with the rotate mode set to local axis add. Next thing was to find a way to lay out a rail path in an easy way to both visualize and modify. One awesome way I found to do this was by using the Cinemachine's dolly track. This feature is usually used to make a camera follow a path to create cinematic shots. It's pretty easy to modify the dolly track with the editor. And in my case, instead of making a camera follow the track, I made the whole parent object follow it instead. Then, I started working on some effects. I created a simple particle emission to replicate the spaceship flame. I also added another particle system with a trail renderer that would be displayed whenever the player was boosting. Then, I added a single emission of a circle particle for when the boost begins. I've created some trail renders for the spaceship wings and added a single particle emission for the barrel roll. Finally, I started creating the level structure and modifying the rail path on the environment. Then, I added some post-processing like bloom and depth of field. And, after a bit of adjustments, this is how it turned out. I would love to see what you can all do with this prototype. There's plenty of systems you can add on top of it like a shooting mechanic or even some enemy AI. If you experiment with it, make sure to share it on Twitter using the Mix and Jam hashtag. And of course, to download the source files, the link for the project's repository is on the description below. Mix and Jam is only possible thanks to everyone that's helping out on Patreon, including these top tier supporters. If you want to see more content like this on the future, don't forget to subscribe. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.